The Hoosiers' title quest began with a matchup against the Ohio State Buckeyes, the sixth place finisher in 1975. In terms of teams, if you look in the Big Ten, you had to come play every night. And I, that's the challenge I like. But what I, I thought our team's approach was, you're going to have to prove it every possession. But this Ohio State team couldn't be taken lightly. After every Indiana basket, the Buckeyes responded with one of their own. Nearing the end of the first half, the Buckeyes took a 28-27 lead on the Lawrence Bolden jumper. A two-point Indiana lead at halftime triggered a quick second half start from the Buckeyes as senior center Craig Taylor took control of the game. The game was a toss-up until Indiana point guard Quinn Buckner drained a pivotal jumper to put the Hoosiers ahead for good. He was the captain of every team he ever played on, uh, from high school to, uh, where they won two state championships in Illinois, through IU for four years, to the Milwaukee Bucks where he was the captain before that. I mean, between there, he was the, the Olympic team had all kinds of great players. Quinn Button was the captain. <laughs> there was, he just was that kind of leader. We, we'd always say with Quinn, you know, he may miss a bunch of shots during the game, but when it came down to it, he would, he'd make it. Indiana survived, barely, topping the Buckeyes 66-64.